Hey there, Cancer. What's up? What's good? What's happening? Welcome in. Welcome back. This is going to be a general message, so take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If none of this fits your situation, just try a different message. I'm going to pull from all angel decks today, and let's see what we get. For Cancer, please and thank you. Which angels are around them? Angel of the night sky. I believe I got this for Taurus as well. Oh, no, 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 no. It was Aries. My apologies. Aries got that as well. Except they got it in their second spot. What else do we have for Cancer? Please and thank you. Angel of Belief. Okay. Let's see what this is about. Believing in your dreams. Believing in that star that you wished upon. Believing that your angels really are still with you. I feel like you saw the best in somebody and they weren't living in it, but you believe they'll have it. For others of you, you might be going through something, but you know there's better days. And you're being strong. You're being brave. For some of you, it is, though. It is a past memory that's really got you up at night, got you, you know, in your cancer feelings, which I know you try to avoid it, but... It's the whole reason you keep going back to it. That's why you're half in, half out. You don't have to be in your emotions all of the time, Cancer. But if you give them at least half the time, that's where the balance comes in. I know a lot of cancers in my life, men and women, which, by the way, are not the same. I really wish people would explain that. Cancer men and cancer women, or at least feminine versus masculine cancer energy, completely different. <laughs> I promise you, immediate family members and besties, yeah, no, it's not the same ever. <laughs> but that emotion thing, that's the half in, half out, allowing yourself to balance so you're not fighting your emotions all the time. Yeah, that, that's for all cancers. Restoration of life, protection from adversities, rabies, and wild beasts. This is the sun card, the reviving god. That's a fun word, reviving. Okay, eight of pentacles. Oh yes, this is a lot of cleansing work, a lot of spiritual work, ascension work comes with those symptoms too. Some of that's also connected with the Schumann resonance. It says God the teacher, intellectual talent provides knowledge. The spiritual wisdom. Three, two, three could be significant. I also have 31, 32. Nine of Cups. God, the kindest giver. Healing preserves health and cures diseases. If somebody was sick, it looks like they're actually getting back to better health now. This could also be a past loved one that was very sick when they passed. They are absolutely with you. Day and night. That could have even been a song that they enjoyed day and night. Or maybe they were, <laughs> maybe they smoked. I don't know. Um, Angel of Belief. I think they want you to believe that they're there. Like, you've had moments, things happened that you can't explain. You know you know more than you allow yourself to believe.
Wisdom is just having the knowledge. Wisdom is just having the knowledge. Bravery. Bravery is when you utilize that knowledge. So is belief. I think somebody wants you to believe in yourself the way they believe in you. It's interesting. You saw somebody's potential and now somebody is seeing your potential. There's a mirrored energy here. Eight of Cups, eight, eight in your reading. God, the pleasure of man's children. Transformation gives consolation in adversity. They have gifts for you. They have something special for you, but you have to be open to believing it. This could be somebody new that's struggling or it's um, like you're new to this and you're struggling a little bit. Or this is somebody who recently passed and just kind of talking about it, thinking about it still is very, it's a very sensitive topic. I'm hearing you don't know if you're ready for all of this yet. They're waiting for you. They're patient with you, just like we have to be patient with them. Again, the mirrored energy, right? It goes both ways. What else do we have here? Please and thank you, Spirit, for cancer. Yeah, we go from 68 to 67. That's taking a step back. Interesting, because we went from 32 to 31 as well, taking a step back. For cancer, please and thank you. What other messages do you have? The two of pentacles. God who supports the universe. Fortune and fame fulfills any request. This is about the fruits of your labor. I'm telling you, they have gifts. They have something for you, especially the fruits of your labor coming in underneath the spiritual work, the physical work, the emotional work, the mental work, all the work that you're doing here. There are certain songs that you cannot listen to because it reminds you of this person. And that's just a fact. There's a couple songs I can't listen to either, Cancer, so you're not alone, honey. What else do we have here? Final card from this deck, please and thank you. Thank you. The Queen of Cups. God, the Redeemer, redemption serves against enemies of religion and governs chastity. I feel like this is an internal battle that you're fighting. For some of you, it is spiritual. Maybe there's something with the bloodline, and that's why you have the specific ancestors that, that is coming through so strongly. You could be doing something that they did, but now that they're on the other side, they know we need to not do that. And they're trying to talk to you. They're trying to let you know, hey, we got to work on this as a team. We're in this together. But it's only going to happen when you're ready. And I don't want you to feel rushed or anything like that. You are protected just so you know, we have the seven of wands at the bottom of the deck here. Okay. So you are protected during this time of, I want to say grievance. And nobody gets to tell you how to grieve. If you need to do something crazy, go fucking do something crazy. Nobody gets to tell you how to grieve. Period. Period. I'm going to pull some angel answers for you guys. It may or may not have anything to do with the reading. So go ahead and ask your questions. And I'm going to pull two cards for cancer. Please and thank you.
compromise. Communicate clearly. That could absolutely have to do with the reading. <laughs> yeah, abundance. Some of you guys didn't even ask a question, but more clarification on the reading. Guys, I love you so much. I hope this message helps. I will see you in the very near future. Until then, stay so beautiful.